Hot damn, what is up folks? All right, I have to get this review out on the new Director's Monitor Cage version three from Wooden Camera. Full disclosure, Creative Solutions did send this to me a while ago. All I've done so far is I put out the unboxing video over on my Instagram and I've had this cage for quite a few months. I've primarily been using it for my first AC's monitor. In there right now, I do have the little five inch small HD Indy 5. Bear with me, I promise you, I have a full review of this Indy 5 coming out soon. I'm just waiting for the red Komodo control because I think that's gonna be a huge benefit of that monitor. I also have in the pipeline, I'm gonna be showing a demo walkthrough of how I use the EL zone system in my workflow because that is hands down one of my favorite new features of all the small HD monitors. But right now, let's talk about this cage. The biggest selling point, and, and I know, I know people are like, ah, this is just a video about a cage, but bear with me here, okay? Because people don't realize when you're using these things, how are you using them? Usually, if it's not for your first AC, well then you're gonna be handing this off to someone like a director or a client, right? So when you're handing them something like this, uh, you wanna think about the weight. Right, so that's where something like this new cage from Wooden Camera is coming in clutch. Just the cage alone only weighs a little over 300 grams. That is huge, especially if we compare it to the weight of something like my Nietzsche monitor cage, which is a cage I have talked about in the past here on this channel. It also is a seven inch monitor cage. I think both this wooden camera cage and the other one, most of them can hold up to nine inch monitors, I believe, right? Uh, but beyond that, you know, most people are gonna be using them with seven inch monitors. Anyways, back to the point, that Nietzsche cage on its own weighs almost three pounds compared to this wooden camera version three cage, which is just a little over 300 grams. That's a huge difference. Now, why would that matter? Well, think about it. You wanna start as lightweight as you possibly can because then you're gonna throw a monitor on there. Then you're gonna throw your wireless receiver on there. And then you're gonna throw the biggest, heaviest component of the rig, the gold mount or V mount battery. Talking about clients and producers and directors, they don't wanna carry, they don't wanna handhold a big heavy rig, right? You wanna, you wanna keep all that in mind. So start with the lightest you can. And I think where the wooden camera is really shining in that aspect is these car carbon fiber handles. These are real carbon fiber, by the way. I mean, they are, at, this whole cage is as light as a feather, right? And notice how quick and easy I'm taking it on and off this little rinky dink light stand. And yeah, these carbon fiber handles are very, very sleek, very, very nice. Like I said, I cannot believe how lightweight this thing, and I even have the Indy 5 in here right now, and it, it is nothing. This monitor is nothing. And notice I even have the other awesome uh, feature of this cage on the back. So let's talk about what's going on back here now. This is rad. However, I don't have a wireless receiver that's compatible with this. So what this is, this is a quick release accessory plate. And first let's talk about, not only is it quick release, but the way they designed it, it is a swing away. It swings away and then you can, you know, change whatever you, maybe you can, you know, clump all your wires back here or if you're a good first AC, you'll make them look nice or whatever you do, or maybe you can, whatever you want to do back there, right? You can hide stuff back in there is the point and then you can snap it back in. Now, this is really compatible with a lot of Teradek units, right? Because they have the ability to side load uh, or mount from the side. Whereas if you have a wireless receiver like what I have, it, it only allows you to mount from the bottom. So I wasn't able to take advantage of this on any of the jobs I brought this on, but I wanted to point this out because I think it is a really cool feature. And speaking on that, there is a ton of extra hardware that is included in the box from Wooden Camera. So you get tons of, uh, you don't have to worry about not having all the hardware. You get all of that. There's no issue with that. Down to these two offset base plates. So you get two of these. And this comes in clutch for guys like me that can't really utilize this back swing away accessory plate. Again, like I said, because of the type of wireless unit receiver that I have, you know, I had to just pop this off. And the way it's, again, the way it's designed, it's so easy to take off of there. <laughs> this is not a scripted video, by the way, so bear with me. So anyways, so yeah, these base plates are offset and this is awesome because now we're gonna get to, okay, why does he have a little baby monitor in there? Well, you know, because um, I only have one seven inch monitor and it's, 
in the Nitsi cage. I don't feel like taking it in and out of the cage. The, the Black Magic 7 inch that I have, it lives in that other Nitsi cage, that very heavy Nitsi cage, right? This one uh, I thought was cool to kind of show off these offset plates, because what I've been able to do is load my small HD monitor from the front. This is kind of nice that it is an offset plate, because the way these newer uh, indie small HD monitors are designed, now they have the HDMI and SDI ports on the bottom rather than out the back like they used to. That's actually something that is a bit of a bummer to me, but we'll hold all that off for the, the monitor review, right? Because on the other one, I was able to offset a little quick release for my wireless receiver unit. But anyways, that way when the receiver sits in here, it leaves open access for us to change the wireless signal channel, you know? Getting back to this kind of way that you can mount it, you'll notice. That's kind of cool. You don't really see that in cages too often. Usually you have to buy your own like baby pin adapter. This comes with it, right? It's built into the cage. So you can just drop this on the cage and then just uh, bolt it on and there you go, you know? So if you're familiar with C stands or baby stands, they have the, the baby pin and then there's like a ridge at the bottom, right? So this could drop in essentially and just sit there. If you really didn't want to, you wouldn't really necessarily have to bolt it on, right? You could just drop it and walk away and someone else could spin it around and then they could set it how they want and then they could bolt it down, right? But if you're gonna use it with a normal light stand like this, okay? These are not normal baby pin stands, right? So with that being said, if I was to do what I was just talking about with like a C stand or a baby stand, you can't do that with a normal light stand like this. And this is why, right? You would put this on here and then look, it just slides all the way down. You know, it's just a matter of, you know, just be aware of the tools you're using. Speaking more on the accessories that Wooden Camera provides, something really cool that they do is they have these snaps. And these snaps are like welded onto this top plate. And those are for the hood. So it does come with this awesome Wooden Camera hood, okay? And the snaps are already built in. So this is really cool, right? You snap those in. But again, I think if you were using this with a big, nice monitor in here, not a little baby monitor, I think the idea is, is that it would come down around and then hook under the base plates. And then this would just tie in together like this. And then, you know, it would be solid, but it is cool that you can just easily snap it on and off. And of course they give you this wooden camera, soft padded neck strap. The only other thing I would probably improve if I could, this top plate. It's a bummer to me that we have to use a tool to raise and lower it. And the only reason why I say that is because they've already teased me with this little guy, right? It has these awesome, it's got these awesome little quick release knobs, right? To pop this on and off. And it's like, dang, if only we could have put these into this top plate, you know, it just would make it a little easier for raising and lowering that depending on whatever kind of monitor you're using or whatever the case may be. It would just, you know, pump up the versatility of it to the next level, uh, in my opinion. It's got a lot of fun functionality to it that you don't really see too often in just what would otherwise be a boring monitor cage, right? And I guess that's really all there is to say about it, right? It, let's be real here, it's just a cage. Now, the reality is it is a $300 cage. Um, and I know a lot of guys in my audience probably that would be the budget for their monitor, right? let alone their cage. And I get that, you know, um, I, I used to be there too. I do understand that. You know, you got to think about the long run, right? And, and a lot of what I have learned in my growth is optics, right? It's a lot about optics out here in this industry. Certainly in this town uh, where I live, uh, which is the Super Bowl of the filmmaking community, I like to call it, otherwise known as Los Angeles. People in higher up uh, parts of different parts of our film community, they care about the equipment that's on their set. They care about the optics of their set. They care about that stuff. I'm not saying buying a $300 cage is gonna change the world for you, but I think it's the little things. If you start with the little things, it grows from there, right? So if you start just, if you start cutting corners with the little things, before you know it, you're cutting corners with the big things. This is what we talk about all the time over on my Patreon. I call it the Dog Times Clubhouse. I'm always talking about this optics thing because I am in the Super Bowl, right? I am the water boy <laughs> of this Super Bowl world, right? Let's be real here. And, and so I'm always trying to navigate this stuff and thinking about how can we improve you know, how we look on set, even if we are DIY, even if the entire job is being produced out of my minivan, <laughs> right? How, but, but, but how can we, how can we keep being the Wizard of Oz, right? And it all starts with little things like this, providing tools and things that can streamline your workflow, make everything easier for everybody on set. Right? The more DIY rinky dink stuff you have, little things start falling apart and then it trickles, but it trickles uphill because, you know, if, if your little things are DIY, 
chances are your big things are DIY. And, and it all, it gets muddy really, really fast. And ultimately, not only is that sending a visual message to your client and to whoever else is watching you, because everybody is watching everybody nowadays. You know, we're all in the world of Rockwell, right? Where, you know, it's, it's social media, baby. Nobody's safe anymore, you know? <laughs> so because of that, everybody has eyes on everybody, right? So it's just something to be aware of. Again, I'm not saying this monitor is gonna change your life, but I think it starts with little things like a monitor cage, right? It does start with these little things. And really what I think you pay for with this wooden camera version three monitor cage, you're paying for the versatility, you're paying for the super lightweight and just all of the functionality of it. Regardless if it's just a cage or not, I think a lot of thought went into it. And for that, you know, I gotta give props over there to the wooden camera team. That's my two cents on it. I know we went down a lot of rabbit holes. I'll have links for it down below if you wanna check it out. I don't care if, if you buy it or not. Um, I'm just sharing my opinions on it. You know, as always, I'm just here to share experience, my passion, and hopefully maybe inspire some of you in some way or another, right? As always, thank you for watching. Check out the Patreon if you are a fan of this video. If you're new here, right, and you're like, holy shit, who is this guy? Um, that's what it's all about, baby. Tap that subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you'll get notified every time a crazy ass video like this comes out and, and you'll stay up to date on it, especially if you're not living in a big community like this and you just maybe are like, hmm, what's going on over there? You know, I don't hold nothing back, man. I don't hold nothing back. Come on, come on. All right, as always, thanks for watching. And for now, that is a wrap. Yeah.